And the Australian classic Possum Magic, as told by our EBC Kids in Australia, featuring their Aussie delicacies. Here's Samantha Gide and Gerald Tayag. Hey, Samantha, what are you reading? Oh, hi, Gerald. I'm reading a favorite classic of mine, Possum Magic. That's cool. Can you share what the story all about? Sure. Let's read together. Grandma Poss and Little Hush are two possums who live in the Australian bush. Grandma Poss is special in that she practices bush magic and has the ability to make Hush invisible. Hush finds being invisible a great thing because she gets to fly down kangaroos and avoid nasty predators. But there comes a time when Hush tires of being invisible and wishes to be visible again. Grandma Poss doesn't know the spell for making Hush visible again, but she knows it has something to do with food. Not possum food, but people food. So begins a quest as Grandma Poss and Hush cross the Australian countryside in search of specific Aussie foods that will make Hush visible again. Their journey begins in Adelaide, traverses the country, and ends in Tasmania. Along the way, they sample a variety of classic Australian foods that have become endearing parts of Aussie culture. Possum Magic is a classic story from the early 80s that still remains popular to this day. The book has celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2013. The book continues to endure because the story is so good. The story is nice. I can imagine all the food that you did to make Hush visible again. That's my favorite part. Hey, I have an idea. Would you like to know more about the food they ate? Sounds fun. I'm in. Now, as I remember, the first people food they ate was Anzac biscuits in Adelaide. Do you know what those are? In fact, I do. An Anzac biscuit is a sweet, hard tack biscuit, popular in Australia and New Zealand, made using rolled oats, flour, sugar, butter, golden syrup, baking soda, boiling water, and optionally, desiccated coconut. Anzac biscuits have long been associated with the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps established in World War I. It has been claimed the biscuits were sent by wives to soldiers abroad because the ingredients do not spoil easily and the biscuits kept well during naval transportation. Today, Anzac biscuits are manufactured commercially for retail sale. Now, what's next? Oh, I remember! They ate Morty and Minty's in Melbourne! Oh, yeah! Morty and Minty's! That's right! A Morty sauce is a special sauce with shredded or grated Gruyere cheese added. Some variations use different combinations of Gruyere, Emmental cheese, or white cheddar. A Morty sauce with, made with cheddar is commonly used to make macaroni and cheese. Minty's is a brand of confectionery originating in Australia and manufactured to in both Australia and New Zealand for their respective markets. They are a hard, white, and chewy squirming flavored lolly, which on chewing become so sticky that they are notorious for causing fillings to come out. Minty's are wrapped in wax paper with a cartoon underneath the logo with the common caption, It's moments like these you need Minty's. I love minties. Me too. What's next? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, they ate steak and salad in Sydney. A steak is a meat, generally sliced perpendicular to the muscle fibers, potentially including a bone. When the word steak is used without qualification, it generally refers to a beef steak. In a larger sense, there are also fish steaks, ground meat steaks, pork steaks, and many more varieties of steaks. Steaks are usually grilled, but they can be pan fried or broiled. A salad is a dish consisting of a mixture of small pieces of food, which may be mixed with a sauce or salad dressing. They are typically served cold. Salads may contain vegetables, fruits, cheese, cooked meat, eggs, grains, and nuts. Steak and salad must be really yummy. I bet. But they ate more people food, right? Let us check what is next. Pumpkin scones in Brisbane! Woo! A scone is a single serving quick bread, usually made of wheat, 
barley, or oatmeal with baking powder as a leavening agent and baked on sheet pans. A scone is often lightly sweetened and occasionally glazed with egg wash. Pumpkin scones are made by adding mashed cooked pumpkin to the dough mixture. Wow, they eat a lot of food. True, but that's not all. Yeah, they ate a Vegemite sandwich in Darwin. Awesome. Vegemite is a thick black Australian food spread made from leftover brewer's yeast, extracted with various vegetable and spice additives developed by Cyril Percy Callister in Melbourne, Victoria in 1922 and currently owned by Mondelez International. Vegemite is salty, slightly bitter, malty, and rich in umami, a glutamate similar in flavor to beef bouillon. That's when Hush's tail became visible again, when she ate a Vegemite sandwich! Oh yeah! You got it right! But I'm excited for the next food they tasted, pavlova in Perth! Pavlova is a meringue-based dessert named after the Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova. It is a meringue with a crisp crust and a soft light inside, usually topped with fruit and whipped cream. The dessert is believed to have been created in honor of the dancer either during or after her tours in Australia and New Zealand in the 1920s. Are we done yet? Nearly! There's still one more people food they had that made Hush completely visible. Lamington in Hobart! A lamington is an Australian cake made from squares of sponge cake coated in an outer layer of chocolate or sometimes raspberry sauce and rolled in desiccated coconut. The thin mixture is absorbed into the outside of the sponge cake and left to set, giving the cake a distinctive texture. A common variation have a layer of cream or strawberry jam between the two lamington halves. Lamingtons remain a popular snack across Australia and New Zealand, and Friday 21st of July 2006 was designated as National Lamington Day in Australia. Wow! They had a mouthful. Yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. I wonder what Dad's prepared us for today. Here's your snacks, guys. Enjoy. Oh, wow. Thanks, Dad. Just what we imagine. Vegemite sandwich. Pavlova. And Lamington. Oh, wait. Before we eat this wonderful snack, let's greet our viewers. From Brisbane, Australia, Happy Australia Day. Cheers, Cheers. right?